So I decided to decorate this with a, a darker color in mind. So as you can see, this is my black sand. So this sand is a little black and white. I might pick up a, dig through and pick out a few black and white little rocks if I have any. Maybe something like this with a little bit more uh, color towards that. The black sand will be the base with black rocks. I even have some more black rocks over here. They're, they're, these rocks look more polished than these. Could just be the camera angle. I have my little one inch base here that I'm gonna use as determining my layout. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with all this. We can make this all vegetation, I guess, if we really wanted to, to hide it. Remember, these pieces are going to come out. I ended up wrapping it with some uh, paper mache. I'm definitely going to set where everything starts. Start laying out my path with my black rocks. I will add the sand and I'm just going to glue everything in place as I go along. All right, what I've done here is can use probably a lot of things to do this but I just started carving into this with a tool this is a uh, happens to be a, a ceramic tool and I just run around and carve lines all I could um, I'm wondering if these lines right here are gonna show even after we paint so we're gonna take the time to maybe do a little bit of paper mache around this to hide the seams Nothing too fancy. Hopefully the paper mache will lay in these grooves and all the stuff that I, that we already pre-made. And then I carved the top. Kind of started doing the same thing on this piece here. The reason I'm doing this now is, is this way this can start drying. I saw the carved lines in this one. Again, I just have some glue and some water here that I'm just mixing. Uh, you can use a regular paper mache recipe. There's all kinds of them online. I'm just cheating. I'm not making anything like extremely thick out of the paper mache. I'm just layering a couple of layers on the outside of something. So if we're gonna make something really thick out of paper mache, we'll probably look up a recipe and do um, a couple tests to see which ones work the best, try different thicker papers. I let that dry, added a coat of primer on top of it to see what it would look like. And I think it does a pretty good job of covering the different sections. Primer is a little sticky. I'm just going to go ahead and keep on gluing my rocks in place. So this will end up being played two ways, you know, with these on, without. When it's without, this is where you put your creatures and you just use this as like walls. And you might come up, the creature in here, but you come around the corner. So it can be played a different way. You can pull this off and put this on a, another uh, flat mat want to. So we just got to figure out a couple entrances so 
we'll probably start right here, leave enough room for a little side entrance. Well, we're pretty close. We might put a few rocks right here. We're going to cover this in black sand, the bottom now. So when you're not using these, you can see your track design still. This is real, real thin glue. You can see it just basically pools right on the surface. So we're gonna take a brush and we're gonna brush glue all over this and just dump black sand on it. Let it set up and then dump the excess sand off. It is almost all the way covered. sand and dumped it into a container again. I'm going to go through and just clean my rocks, let it dry up just a little bit. That texture looks pretty good. Still a little damp. I'm going to add a little bit more of that to this. I cut that wall off. I didn't like it. Even the back part, I just took it over the bandsaw and cut it off. I'm just going to paint these black, paint these walls black, and then probably just lightly dry brush it with a little bit of white to give a little bit of the white that there just hit the high surfaces. Maybe. We'll see. I didn't wrap the feet of these. Like I did the top up here. So we may end up having to do a wrap on those. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it and see what it looks like first. I'm gonna add it right on top of the paint. Yeah, after I cut that off, I just textured it. Probably just decorate this inside here on both sides. So when you pull it off, the decoration stays with this. I just got a scrap plate here, kind of using it as a little palette. A little bit of water I poured in there. This acrylic paint I get is pretty thick, so I'm thinning it out. You can really see how thick this paint is. It's really, really thick. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to paint this inner lip. <laughs>
a little thicker paint is kind of fun to work with in a sense. That kind of build the paint to the thickness you want, I guess. Get in all the little nooks and crannies. You could primer your piece if you really want to first. It's not 100% necessary. All right, we're just gonna dry brush white across this, this top right here. That'll work. Let's let that dry up a little bit. I'll retouch that back up. If you get an area that's too uh, light, for example, Come along with your black. Since your black's a flat, it should blend right in. Just let it dry before you actually touch just a little bit of the white back in it. Yeah, I think there's just enough of the light white brush. This one's almost done a little bit too much. I've got this one to go. So what I'm doing here is just adding a little dollop, a little dot of the white glue. You take your brush and you just tap that. Make sure you clean your brush afterwards. All part of this is the imagination, so you have to imagine these are bigger walls that come up. So overall, it looks really good. Kind of blends, you know. You can decorate all you want. Um, I definitely would wrap the feet with those with the paper machine. I'm going to probably do that. That's why I didn't quite finish them. Um, you can add a couple different colors of dry brushing if you really wanted to. This wall seemed to come out pretty good. These stairs seem to turn out decent. You know, not bad. It's a nice way to cut them on the bandsaw. Not bad for. You know, practicing making tracks and stuff. <laughs>